Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some serious but super important stuff. The recent Supreme Court decision to uphold a ban on guns for domestic abusers. This is a massive win, not just for victims of domestic violence, but for all of us who care about safety and justice. Let's break it down. So, last Friday, the Supreme Court made a landmark ruling in the U.S. v. Rahimi case. They decided to uphold a federal law that bans people with domestic violence restraining orders from owning guns. This law, Section 9-2G8 of the Violence Against Women Act, has been around since 1994 and aims to protect victims of domestic violence from further harm. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote the majority opinion, and get this, 8 out of 9 justices agreed. Only Justice Clarence Thomas dissented. He's been known to have a more originalist view of the Constitution, but in this case, the majority saw the bigger picture. They recognized that the Second Amendment isn't about letting people with a history of violence have access to firearms. Roberts pointed out that since the founding of our country, there have been laws preventing dangerous individuals from owning guns. This isn't some new, radical idea. It's about keeping people safe. He even made a point about how our right to bear arms doesn't just apply to the muskets of the 18th century. It's about preventing violence in today's world, where modern firearms are way more lethal. This decision follows a consistent line of Supreme Court cases acknowledging the dangers of armed abusers. For instance, in the U.S. v. Castleman 201 for case, the court noted how domestic violence often escalates and how the presence of a firearm can turn a bad situation deadly. And in Voisin v. U.S. 2016, they highlighted the deadly combo of firearms and domestic strife. Now, Let's talk about the controversial 2020 to case, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Brune. That decision struck down a century-old New York gun law and expanded gun rights significantly. It also set a precedent for how courts should evaluate gun laws, focusing on history and tradition. This has led to a ton of challenges to gun regulations across the country. During the Rahimi case arguments, a Solicitor General Elizabeth Preloger didn't push back against originalism or the new history and tradition test. Instead, she showed that even in historical contexts, dangerous individuals were disarmed. She had solid backing from experts and law enforcers who emphasized the importance of keeping guns away from domestic abusers. Opponents of this view, like the NRA and other gun rights groups, argued that modern laws need to have historical counterparts to be constitutional. But historians pointed out that at the time of the founding, guns were rarely used in domestic murders. Times have changed, and our laws need to reflect that. Here's a staggering statistic. 76% of female murder victims are killed by someone they know, and a third of those are by an intimate partner. When there's a gun in the house, an abused woman is five times more likely to be killed. The presence of a firearm increases the risk of homicide by a whopping 1,000%. And it's not just about individual cases. Domestic violence is linked to mass shootings. Nearly 60% of mass shootings from 2014 to 2019 were related to domestic violence. So, restricting firearm access for abusers can have a broader impact on preventing these tragedies. This Supreme Court decision is a crucial step forward. It recognizes that protecting the right to life and safety sometimes means restricting gun rights for those who pose a threat. There's still uncertainty about how lower courts will apply this ruling, but for now, 
it's a victory for common sense and safety. Remember, the Declaration of Independence gives us the right to life, liberty, and happiness. It's about time we also consider the right not to be shot. Let's keep pushing for a safer world. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on important issues. Stay safe everyone!